Hello everyone. In this video, we will try to get answer for uh, one of the very contemporary questions that a lot of aspirants for the JE 2021 are looking answers for. Now, as we know, JE uh, mains will happen in two uh, installments, the uh, phase one and phase two. Like previously, what we have is uh, the phase one would happen in Jan and the phase two would be happening uh, right after the uh, board examinations. Okay. But uh, with the COVID uh, rescheduling of the uh, JE uh, 2020 and uh, the possible considerations on uh, the uh, schools working and uh, the start of the academic year, etc., there are uh, questions uh, that students are asking in terms of whether there will be the uh, January attempt or not. And if it is, then uh, would it be happening in the January itself or will it get postponed? Basically, the point is, are we going to have two? phases like the way it used to be and if there are two phases then you know how the scheduling is going to happen so this is one of the i mean very contemporary questions that we are seeing from the students obviously it is an important uh, a consideration because uh, when the students are trying to plan their preparation they would have to have an idea of when is the final date of the examination isn't it because if they don't even know when the final date of examination is then uh, the entire scheduling uh, would not be proper so uh, we'll try to uh, look at you know what are the possible uh, uh, scenarios in terms of uh, the january attempt being happening okay so we'll just get into the uh, discussion uh, now if you are asking a straight uh, question in terms of uh, whether there will be this uh, jan attempt or not there will be the january attempt okay in the sense you know there will be that phase one that's what i'm saying uh, and also phase two also will be happening but will the phase one happen in the month of uh, jan or will it get postponed so we have like 90 percent of the chances that uh, the exam could get postponed okay and uh, i mean so don't ask me as to why we arrive at this uh, 90 percent this is based on some considerations we'll look into it as we go into the discussion okay but uh, obviously you know we can't just uh, give that 90 percent 10 percent numbers just like that uh, i mean you know so if you happen to see uh, swami nityananda then he will just throw up some uh, numbers or information uh, which would be having any backing like he would say probably you know e is not equal to mc square and nobody will be able to question as to why that e will not be equal to mc square but the point is here uh, we will have to look at uh, what are the considerations on which uh, we are probably saying that uh, the exam would get postponed so these are some of the indicators that we are looking at broadly right when you look at most of the uh, states uh, including some of the southern states uh, we have the academic year itself starting from the month of uh, September. I mean, you know, the uh, even the online classes uh, that, you know, some of the states like Telangana, etc., they have uh, given the permission for the schools to uh, begin the uh, academic classes online mode from the month of September. So usually when it would be happening, it would be happening in the month of, uh, uh, I mean, April in some states and uh, in some states we have it happening from the month of uh, July. So in that sense, right, we see that there is a, uh, sort of you know uh, delay in terms of the uh, start of the academic year itself okay and uh, of course there will be some more uh, issues in terms of whether they are having uh, continuous uh, classes for all the subjects or it is happening a staggering mode so we'll uh, have to think about all these other uh, issues as well and even uh, if you look at some of the central government schools like you know jnv's jehovah no devidyalayas of which i am a proud alumni and uh, Kendri Vidyalayas, okay, so even they have a delayed start, okay, so usually the KV admissions would happen somewhere in the month of August, I'm talking about uh, the plus one, but this year we have a delayed start in terms of uh, the admissions as well as the classes, uh, so which means uh, we would see that uh, this also will be an important uh, factor in terms of the overall plan, okay, and even uh, while there is a sort of an uh, understanding and the implementation in terms of when the academic year will begin that's what we are seeing now you know uh, online classes dd i mean doordarshan they are all you know uh, live streaming the classes across the states so that all is happening now but the point is when is the academic year going to close so what is the closure plan so while the uh, uh, central government or mhrd and uh, i mean of course now the mhrd is uh, sort of uh, renamed but uh, the uh, closure plan 
when it is going to close that indicators have not come so far from the central goal so why it will be an important consideration is because the closure plan in terms of having the, the final board examinations etc that would be uh, the time where uh, the phase two would usually be uh, scheduled for like if say for example the uh, closure plan is uh, planned somewhere around i'm just giving some you know uh, situation uh, scenarios if the closure plan is uh, somewhere planned in the month of uh, july so which means we are going to be having the phase two in the month of july or sort of you know end of july so accordingly we could be having the uh, phase one happening in the month of maybe uh, april or march okay so the closure plan indicators have not yet come so that is going to be another uh, import so if they have not made the announcement means definitely there is going to be delayed uh, uh, date for the closure plan as well and hence uh, this could mean that at least uh, we might have uh, one two months definite uh, delay in terms of the je means jan attempt uh, getting uh, conducted so which means that if you look at it in uh, the exact date wise obviously again you know we will not be able to say like you know it's going to happen in uh, uh, february 26th or you know march 16th we will not be able to comment on the dates like probably you know the swamiji sitting in kailasha will be able to do but uh, what we could look at is uh, maybe we'll have more percentage chances of exam uh, being held in the month of uh, march to april so that's what uh, we will be able to see in terms of because we we give like uh, the, uh, the usual uh, date of the jan attempt is the, the first uh, week or you know the first week to second week of january so if you are looking at a 2 3 months of uh, delay then we could be ending up in the uh, end of uh, march sort of a thing or uh, the mid of april so that is what uh, we could be looking forward to and uh, having seen what could be the time timeline that is available for us in terms of uh, the first attempt or the first phase of je means the questions are uh, like you know what is it that we need to do okay it's very simple we have to just keep calm and then study hard okay but while you do it right obviously the institute where you are studying or probably even if you are doing a self study or self preparation you will have to uh, keep in mind uh, about the timelines and accordingly plan your preparation like say for example you want to complete the syllabus by uh, uh, october november as per the original plan then you need not have to really rush up that much you could give maybe extra month in terms of uh, comprehensively covering that topics and uh, have the later part of the i mean you know the available time uh, for the uh, mock exams full syllabus mock exams you take the nta mock exams or you know the follow up revision etc so that's something that you need to be planning uh, considering these uh, timelines hope this is useful guys and uh, if you are looking for uh, some support in terms of your je mains preparation please uh, log on to our uh, concept tree digital uh, website you can also access the resources uh, uh, through our uh, android app or you can download it from the google play store we'll see in the next video